And our triple header coverage of Elmhurst College Athletics here on Blue Jay TV continues on this Saturday early evening. Women's soccer action. Initially, this matchup was supposed to be played over at Barron's Park, but it has been moved here to Langhorst Field, where earlier today, as seen on Blue Jay TV, the Elmhurst College football team with a thrilling 43-36 win over Millican with a whole lot of offense in the second half. Women's soccer action, Wheaton number four in the country, unbeaten 14-0-1. They are perfect 4-0 in the CCIW. Elmhurst, meanwhile, 10-3-1 overall, 1-2-1 in the College Conference of Illinois and Wisconsin. Now the Blue Jays are unbeaten in the last three matchups, 2-0-1. Last time out on October 15th, one week ago today, they tied Illinois Wesleyan University 2-2 on the road down in Bloomington. Illinois Wesleyan is a stiff challenge as well. The Titans are presently 3-0-1 in the CCIW and 11-2-1. Overall, Elmhurst is in the white unis as you view at home. Wheaton is in the blue. Wheaton moving left to right, controlling possession here. Pulling into the corner towards Val Lilly. And rolling out starters for Wheaton. In goal, Kelsey Graham. The forward, Allie Kopelman. Caitlin Kishkunas in the midfield. Jamie Orweiler in the forward position. Laura Carson, a midfielder. Gary Shannon, a midfielder. Esther Tan on defense, Val Lilly, the midfielder, Aaron Strom on defense, Anna Seabold on defense, and Caitlin Libador, a midfielder for the Thunder, who are in the box and cleared away. For Elmhurst, Matty Fitzpatrick in goal, freshman out of Downers Grove, Stephanie Berryman on defense, freshman from Naperville, Shelly Shapazian, sophomore forward out of Aurora, Ohio, Stephanie Thompson, senior defender from Palatine, Illinois. Shannon Pimmel, freshman midfielder out of Bolingbrook. Valerie Wesley at forward, senior from Chula Vista, California. Morgan Geimer, junior midfielder out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Amy and Katie Bashan, Amy a forward, Katie a midfielder, both juniors, the twins out of Downers Grove. <laughs> Allie Siebel on defense, a junior out of Westchester, Ohio, and Heather DeMoss, a midfielder. Opportunity for Wheaton here early. Denied in a scoreless matchup here in the second minute of play. Matty Fitzpatrick appearing for the 15th time. Five shutouts this year. Goals against average under one. 0.82. Obviously the question becomes how can you slow down this Wheaton attack? Wheaton a very strong offensive team. As Elmhurst with an opportunity clearing away. Thunder played Kalamazoo to a scoreless tie on October 3rd. That's been all. They've won five in a row, including four matches in conference play. Elmhurst 4-1 and one here at Langhorst Field this year. 17th meeting all-time between Elmhurst and Wheaton in women's soccer. Wheaton leads the all-time series 15-1. Only victory for the Blue Jays in 2001. Last year, Jamie Orweiler with a hat trick. Sweeten defeated Elmhurst 3 to nothing. Elmhurst currently on the outside looking in in the landscape of the CCIW tournament chase. Blue Jays have some work to do with three matches left. Wheaton today, Milliken at Barron's Park on Wednesday, and then at Augustana on October 29th. The top four teams in the standings qualify for the CCIW tournament. Elmhurst currently sitting in sixth. Wheaton leading the way unbeaten. Illinois Wesleyan 3-0-1 with a draw to Elmhurst. Augustana 3-1. Carthage 2-2. North Park 2-3. Elmhurst 1-2-1. Milliken 1-4. And and North Central winless at 0-4. Those are the CCIW standings entering play today. Elmhurst had a six-match win streak halted by North Park University back on October 1st. Since then, they have been very strong with a 3-1-1 mark. Elmhurst held a 2-1 lead late against Illinois Wesleyan last weekend, but the Titans scored the equalizer in the 83rd minute to send the game into extra time. Valerie Wesley scored for the Blue Jays in that tie with Illinois Wesleyan. Coming up on four minutes into the matchup, no score, Elmhurst and Wheaton women's soccer action here at Langhorst Field. On the turf playing surface, Laura Karsten will bring it into the offensive end. Dead on and blasted right at Maddie Fitzpatrick off the foot of Jamie Orweiler. 
Orweiler, a hometown product out of Wheaton, prepped at Wheaton North High School. Tied for the team lead with eight goals, also owns 11 assists. She is the team leader in points with 27 this year. And as we mentioned, had a hat trick to single-handedly beat the Blue Jays a year ago in Wheaton, 3-0. Carrie Shannon out of Melville, New York, also an offensive force. With 23 points through the first 16 matches of the season. Foul Lilly. Up the right edge. One on one against Berryman. Berryman did her best. And we'll have a goal kick upcoming. Thirty-nine fifty-seven play first half. Women's soccer action, Elmhurst and Wheaton. Scoreless. Actually called a foul towards the edge of the box against the Thunder. So Elmhurst with a free kick. Stephanie Thompson. Back towards midfield. Headed around. Possessed by Katie Bashan. Bashan zings it ahead onto the offensive end, looking for her sister Amy Bashan, but Wheaton denies and plays it away. Here comes Amy Bashan stepping in front, steering out wide. Katie Bashan on the move, tried to feed Morgan Geimer through. Stood up there. Esther Tan and a whistle against Elmhurst. Thirty-nine oh seven to play in the first half. Rolling into the box, Maddie Fitzpatrick will come out, and she's there before Allie Kopelman. Wheaton with a couple of national titles recently. They've been a strong program at the national level for quite some time. It's carried over this year. They're ranked in the top five. Val Lilly towards the end line. Tries to zip it into the box. Back out towards Esther Tan. Tan in the middle towards Laura Karsten. Steering out onto the left edge. At the feet of Aaron Strom. Has a go over the crossbar. Aaron Strom from about 35 yards away. Missed it over the crossbar. We remain scoreless. A couple of shots for Wheaton here in the early goings. Three shots in total for the visiting Thunder. The leaders of the CCIW all by themselves, thanks to their opponent today, Elmhurst. As we've talked about already, tied Illinois Wesleyan last week. The Thunder and Titans have yet to play this year. Elmhurst really hasn't been able to bring the ball into the offensive end at all here early on. As Stephanie Thompson will poke it out of play on the far side of the field. Aaron Strom playing back onto the Wheaton side. The Thunder chip it up in the air towards Esther Tan. Tan through, racing into challenges Val Lilly. Stephanie Thompson, though, with inside position. And Thompson drives it along the near sideline. Out of play, off of Wheaton, a throw in for Elmhurst. With 36-38 to play in the first half. Men's matchup comes at 7.30 today. Elmhurst and Wheaton on the men's side of things. And again, both of these matches were scheduled to be played out at Barron's Park. Beautiful day for soccer. Sunny and clear. Temperature this afternoon was in the 60s. We'll drop down and get cooler overnight. We're in the mid-50s presently, about 54 degrees. As Wheaton will have a corner kick upcoming. Pete Felsky, the head coach of the Thunder. Paul Webster guiding the Blue Jays.
Corner kick into the box, headed around and right into the bread basket of Maddie Fitzpatrick. Maddie Fitzpatrick denies the corner opportunity with 35-35 to go in the first half. We remain scoreless. Ten minutes in. Here comes Elmhurst really with their first offensive threat. And it'll roll past Amy Bastion and into the box where it's picked up by Kelsey Graham, who is a freshman for the Thunder. Kelsey Graham and Hillary Barreto have split playing time this year. Each owning three shutouts on the season. Graham out of Wheaton. Played at Wheaton Warrenville South High School. She's played in 13 matches. Has a goals against average of 0.54. Barreto at 0.28. This is a Wheaton team that does not allow much on the defensive end, and a lot of that really has to do with their offense. They're so good at sustaining the ball. That teams don't have very many opportunities to do a whole lot of anything on the offensive end. Strom to the far side. And it's off the wrist of Laura Carson. A handball will set up the Blue Jays with a great chance for their first opportunity. From 32 yards away, Morgan Geimer with the dead-on free kick. The Thunder sets up a wall. and will be backed up by our referee today. Morgan Geimer, the junior out of Milwaukee, bounces over the ball. The kick is through and into the waiting arms of Kelsey Graham. Amy Bastion actually took the free kick, just kind of shrugging with her arms. Usually for soccer matches, the teams will set up on the near side of the field. Today, though, they are on the far side of things. Of course, because there was a football game just before us here, another foul sets up Elmhurst with a free kick. Stephanie Berryman settles down and will give way to Allie Siebel. Siebel into the box, headed away from Laura Karsten and back out to midfield at heads. Jamie Orweiler through, onside is Val Lilly. Lilly challenged by Berryman who plays it away. Berryman with good closing speed to come in on Val Lilly. 32-45 in the first half, still scoreless. Shot situation 4-1 to one in favor of Wheaton. Carrie Shannon leads Laura Karsten. Plays out towards space on the far side. Caitlin Kishkunis into the box with a right foot. Missed to the left. Thirty-two ten to play in the first half. Fitzpatrick with a goal kick. Driven around. And Valerie Wesley loses it in midfield. Jamie Orweiler in on the act defensively as well. Allie Copelman. Flanked by Stephanie Thompson. Thompson backs up. Off the head of Val Lilly and rolling out of play. 31-15 to play in the first. Elmhurst and Wheaton scoreless on this Saturday. Fitzpatrick again with the goal kick for the Blue Jays. Coming in as a true freshman, there are three true freshman goalies on the Elmhurst roster. Fitzpatrick won the open competition this fall. 
Kerry Shannon tries to thread the needle. Fitzpatrick out to challenge. There's a cross, and it's played away. Great defense by Shannon Pimmel stepping in to play it out. Otherwise, there was a wide open goal for the Thunder, who do have a corner kick upcoming with Kerry Shannon. Shannon towards the far post, out of the reach of the leaping Lily. And driven out of play. Coming up on 15 minutes into the first half. Elmhurst and Wheaton in a scoreless matchup today. Valerie Wesley trying to give chase towards Morgan Geimer. Nobody back on the offensive end for the Blue Jays. They're packing everyone in defensively to try to deny opportunities. Here's Orweiler. Orweiler out of the reach of Seabolt. And back out it comes to Amy Bashan. Amy Bashan with a long run. Trying to rid herself of Esther Tan. Katie Bashan serves it up towards the box and headed away. Berryman trudges in. Pounds it with a right foot out of play off of the Thunder. 29-17 remaining first half. Stephanie Berryman with a throw targeting DeMoss. And it's taken away by the Thunder. Elmer's trying to sustain on the offensive side. DeMoss on the back pocket of Kerry Shannon. Amy Bashan all over Karsten. Morgan Geimer 30 yards away. Through for Valerie Wesley, chasing just shy of the box. Out it goes, and a goal kick. A little too much there for Valerie Wesley. Twenty-eight First half of play, scoreless, Elmhurst and Wheaton. Elmhurst in the white, traveling right to left as the sun begins to set here in suburban Chicagoland. Esther Tan along the near side. Towards Val Lilly, who played to herself a nice move. Denied, though. Amy Bashan on the move, but Tan with inside position. 27.45 to play in the first. Aaron Strom across the far side of the field and rolling along the sideline, still in play right now, but not for much longer. It's going Elmhurst's way on a throw. Again, this match was not initially supposed to be carried here on Blue Jay TV because we had all of our production crew here at Langhorst Field for the football game. Soccer was supposed to play in a doubleheader over at Barron's. Well, now they are playing here at Langhorst. It was moved this week. Other matches in the CCIW today. North Central at Carthage. Augustana at Illinois Wesleyan. A big one there. Chicago is at Milliken in non-conference play. Coming up later this week, Illinois Wesleyan is at Wheaton on Tuesday. Orweiler into the box. Guided free. Aurora played at North Park on Thursday. Only CCIW score of this week was Wheaton with a 3-2 to two edge over Augustana. Everything else was non-conference play. Carthage, Milliken, North Central all scoring shutouts. Bouncing into the box and Kelsey Graham is there to scoop. Twenty-six ten to play in the first half. Nothing, nothing, Elmhurst and Wheaton. And a hard challenge coming in from Stephanie Thompson. Referee is there to blow the whistle. Orweiler towards the box. Orweiler pushes left towards Karsten. 
Carson in towards Kishkunis, off the head of Anna Seabolt and over the crossbar. Twenty-five thirty-five to play in the first half. Maddie Fitzpatrick with a goal kick. Turning is Katie Bashan over towards Shelly Shapazian. She's playing back on defense, has been a forward at points this year, is listed a forward on the roster, but is packing in the box. Here is Seabolt again. Seabolt missed on an opportunity moments ago. And Elmhurst able to play it away. Six shots for Wheaton. And now the first 20 minutes of the matchup today. Flag is in the air. And Wheaton trapped offside. Heather DeMoss twisting away over towards Katie Bashan. Bounced up. Morgan Geimer has it played out. 24-15 to play in the half. Here comes a throw in towards Amy Bashan. Out again as Elmhurst tries to lock in deep. Caitlin Kishkunis a little shaken up for the Thunder, but will stay in the ball game. Aaron Strom. Trying to carry it ahead instead of using some space. Just stops to zap it onto the Elmhurst side. Allie Siebel controls. And here comes Wheaton again on the offensive attack. Karsten to the feet of Carrie Shannon. Forced back onto the Thunder side. Now Lily, a nice move to spin around Berryman. One too many looking for Kopelman out. And a foul called on the Thunder. This the fourth against Wheaton so far. Morgan Geimer tripped up, play on according to the referee. Here's Valerie Wesley. Wesley one-on-one, -on -one, waited for Amy Bastion in the box, and Bastion falls to the turf. Boy, Wesley probably should have taken it herself there. Had a solid opportunity. Yes, it was a one-on-two, but at the very least to try and create some openings elsewhere. Orweiler gives chase on the offensive end, and Stephanie Thompson will drive it out of play. Shelly Shapazian with the throw in for Elmhurst. Heather DeMoss cycling along through this far sideline and out of play. Twenty-one forty-five remaining in the first half. A blank sheet to this point. Amy Bashan denied. Caitlin Libador playing back on defense, a senior for the Thunder as well. As we mentioned, a very experienced Wheaton roster. A few freshmen sprinkled in amongst the mix of juniors and seniors, all of whom are well aware of the Thunder tradition and a handball. 21 minutes even. Just 
Sun setting in the west here in Elmhurst. The free kick for Siebel. Driven away. Space for Val Lilly. Lilly right past Berryman. Lilly continues to move out towards Orweiler. Now it's Orweiler one on one against Shapazian turning right. Orweiler over towards Shannon. Wheaton very patient on offense. Lilly blasts it into the box just out of the reach of Kopelman. Kopelman did not get a piece of the drive. And with 20 minutes to go in the first half, it remains a scoreless affair. Blue Jays have done just enough defensively to keep this in a scoreless contest. Matty Fitzpatrick has been strong early. And a Seabolt lost it. Bounced down to the Wheaton side. Laura Karsten playing catch with Aaron Strom. Kaylin Kishkunis into the offensive end, rotating towards Shannon. Lights have been turned on here at Langhorst Field. The lights a new addition here for 2011. New lights, of course. Elmhurst did not have lights here at Langhorst Field. Also a new addition, the turf. Esther Tan crosses into the box, and Kopelman with her head missed it high. A nice round of applause from the Thunder faithful. Wheaton travels very well. Allie Kopelman with four goals and four assists, a senior out of Rockford, Illinois. <laughs> Stephanie Berryman controlling for Elmhurst. Out of her reach, leading to a break. Orweiler carries. Orweiler towards the box, rotates left, and it's poked away by Siebel. Nice defense for Allie Siebel. Orweiler has it again into the box. Valerie Wesley on her left hip, played away in a corner upcoming for the Thunder. It'll be corner kick number three for Wheaton here in the first half. 17.50 to play, still scoreless. Caitlin Kishkunis will put it down for Wheaton. She'll address it high, and it's punched away by Fitzpatrick, who's out of the goal. Open net, team save. Back to the left coast, and Fitzpatrick got a piece of that as well. What an offensive sequence for the Thunder. A corner kick was punched away by Fitzpatrick, and then a wide open goal. Saw the Blue Jays line up with a two player wall which led to a team save. And Kishkunis had another go, and now the Thunder are on the board. Fitzpatrick came out to challenge. It was out of her reach, and Laura Karsten pokes it into the back of the net. Karsten's fourth goal of the season. Off of a corner as Caitlin Kishkunis, the senior out of Glenview, helped to set it up. Kishkunis with assist number six of the year. And the Thunders celebrate opening the scoring with under 17 minutes to play in the first half. And we'll restart play. Katie Bashan towards Valerie Wesley. Played away. Past the Wheaton bench. Sixteen and a half remaining. A strong sequence for the Thunder led to the first goal of the contest. They have 11 shots here in the first half compared to only one for Elmhurst. 
And it is the Thunder with a one goal lead. And looking for more here. Val Lilly crosses midfield into the offensive end. And a foul will be called as the referee comes over and points out the exact spot for the Wheaton free kick. A quick restart from Tan over towards Lilly, who puts it into the box and it one hops to Fitzpatrick. 15.40 remaining in the first half. Another shot for the Thunder on the offensive side. They have been relentless here early on. Out off of Wheaton and Elmhurst throw with 15.20 to play in the half. First sub of the match, Samantha Perry will take the place of Shannon Pimmel on the Elmhurst side. We've played a half an hour of the first half. It is Wheaton with a one goal lead. Elmhurst has kind of spent some time focusing a bit on the defensive end of things this year. They own shutout wins over Dominican, Albion, Greenville, Eureka, Alverno, Knox, and North Central. Elmhurst has also dropped a pair of 1-0 decisions this year to Carthage and Kalamazoo in the home opener on September 4th. Yes, the same Kalamazoo squad that played Wheatland, Wheaton to a scoreless draw. Siebel, airborne. It's bounced around as a foul will go against Elmhurst. Carrie Shannon restarts it. Carrie Shannon surrounded over towards Karsten. Forced to change course. Here comes Wesley into challenge. Caitlin Libador. Stepping in front is Samantha Perry, who lost her footing, and off to the races heads Val Lilly. Lilly ahead to Orweiler. Orweiler denied by Siebel. And out of play across the far side. 13-25 to play in the half. Two substitutions on their way in for the Thunder at the next dead ball. This will be an Elmhurst throw, so no sub here. Twelve forty-five to play in the half. Wheaton up a goal. Allie Copelman uses her knees to control. Here's Val Lilly. Carrie Shannon twisting away. Or while in Carson with a little give and go. Carson with a sliding attempt towards Katie Bashan. Katie Bashan, a long through ball along the far side of the field through her sister Amy. Amy into the box. Tries to center towards DeMoss and it's played away. Bashan though settles down. Here comes Amy Bashan against three blue jerseys attempted to play back towards Samantha Perry. Katie Bashan with her foot on it. And offside. 11.45 to play in the half. Wheaton one, Elmhurst none. Laura Karsten blasts it onto the offensive side. 
Stephanie Berryman forced to play back towards Stephanie Thompson. Laura Karsten towards Shannon. And Berryman in to blast it away. We have subs for both teams. Sarah Gadira for Wheaton along with Annie Hamilton. While Elmhurst will bring in Kylie MacArthur. Clock running 10.38 first half. Restart says the referee. Amy Bashan could not locate the ball. Aaron Strom out far side. Cycling around towards Libador. And the Thunder methodically working their way up the field. Here's Aaron Strom. Along to Hamilton. Hamilton still in play. Quick look towards Orweiler. Orweiler attempts to work it through towards Hamilton. And it's finessed out of play off the foot of Ali Siebel. Under 10 minutes to play in the half. A one goal lead for the Thunder. Carson into challenge, but DeMoss on the scene. MacArthur gives chase. Kylie MacArthur, a freshman out of Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. One of the many freshmen on this Elmhurst roster here in 2011. On side is Val Lilly, but too much mustard for her. And an Elmhurst throw deep on their own end. But not before another Elmhurst substitution will jog on. Shapazian exits. Kelsey Jasinski in for the Blue Jays and Matty Fitzpatrick with another save. 8.45 to play. Fitzpatrick and the Elmhurst defense, the reason why it is only a one goal at lead for the Thunder here in the first half. Esther Tan rolling into her teammates and a throw in for the Blue Jays with 8.20 to play in the half. Amy Bashan lost it and sent along the near side. Wesley bothered by Strom in her pocket. Elmhurst heading the wrong way here. Katie Bashan out towards Amy Bashan. Along the far side of the field. Amy Bashan trying to keep it in along the box. Tried to send it through. Defended nicely by Aaron Strom. Now here come the Thunder. Jamie Orweiler off for the races. Orweiler passes a defender. Orweiler through towards Seabolt. Seabolt into the box with two bodies around. And sent away by Perry. 7.28 to play here in the first half. Wheaton with a one goal lead and a foul will be called against the Thunder. Free kick for the Blue Jays on the Wheaton side. It's already the seventh foul against the Thunder here in the half. Just count a couple of handballs, but still. Siebel with the free kick, headed around to the box, still airborne, cycled away off the foot of Esther Tan. Annie Hamilton with a lot of room along the far side towards Anna Seabolt out off of Elmhurst. 6.38 first half. Laura Karsten out wide towards Tan. Into challenge comes MacArthur 
But it'll trickle out of play along that near sideline. That's their 10 out of Ridgefield, Connecticut with the throw in. Here's MacArthur fighting with Lilly. And substitution for the Blue Jays. Exiting is Heather DeMoss. Entering Andrea Kamak. Throw in for the Blue Jays. Orweiler waits. Laura Karsten. Back onto the Wheaton side. Aaron Strom settles. Attempts to go through along the far side and it'll roll its way out of play with 5.15 to play in the opening 45. Aaron Strom in towards the box. Jamie Orweiler taking her time out of the reach of Anna Seabolt. And a throw in for Wheaton with less than five minutes to play in the half. The Thunder up a goal. Laura Karsten's fourth of the season. The junior out of Grand Haven, Michigan. And a challenge in the box. A corner upcoming for Wheaton. Kerry <laughs> Shannon racing over towards the near corner. Wheaton's goal came off of a short corner kick. Doesn't appear as though they'll play short here. Shannon aiming far side, hit it over everything. Out of play. Three fifty left in the half. Ping ponged around. And Katie Bashin tried to shoot through, but intercepting was Hamilton. Three and a half remaining. Carry Shannon to the center line. Shannon with a right foot. Bouncing towards the box and played away. Amy Bashan over towards Andrea Kamak. Trudging in is Libador. Under three minutes to play in the opening 45. One nothing. Elmhurst trailing Wheaton in women's soccer action. Thunder trying to remain unbeaten both in the CCIW and on the season. Elmhurst looking to avoid their third conference loss of the year today. Already facing a tough challenge to try and be one of the four teams in the CCIW tournament with three matches remaining counting today, including a road date at the always strong Augustana College Vikings. Two oh five remaining. And a throw in for Aaron Strom. Kerry Shannon taking her time. Quick one touch through towards Lily. Lily off the races, crosses into the box, and diving is Maddie Fitzpatrick. Cross into the box. Fitzpatrick came out and stopped the opportunity. Down to a minute and a half remaining, and the flag is in the air for offside.
Referee backing up the free kick here with time running down in the first half. Sarah Gadera has it taken away. Kelly Jasinski along the far side. Elmer's looking for some kind of offense here. They have only one shot in the half. We're down to 45 seconds to play in the first. I'm Tim Calderwood with you this afternoon. Now evening here in Elmhurst for women's soccer action. Under 30 seconds to play in the half. Carrie Shannon. Nice move around Amy Bastion. Over towards Hamilton. Down to 14 seconds left. Here's Karsten, a quick one touch into the box. Siebel into challenge. Fitzpatrick dives on top. And with that, the first half will come to a close. Wheaton with a 1-0 lead at the break as we step aside. This is Blue Jay TV. Time in Elmhurst, Wheaton with a one goal advantage. Second half ready to open. Elmhurst will begin with possession. Some of the defensive play for the Blue Jays in the first half, specifically from goalkeeper Matty Fitzpatrick. Thus, it's only a one goal deficit right now. Let's take a look at some of the numbers here. First, we'll start with the team totals. Wheaton outshot Elmhurst 15 to 1 in the first half. Nine shots on goal for the Thunder. Meanwhile, Wheaton with seven fouls compared to four for Elmhurst. Four corner kicks, and the Thunder were caught offside on two occasions compared to just one for Elmhurst. Here comes an opportunity for Morgan Geimer quickly to open the second half. And it'll be poked out of play individually. 
Maddie Fitzpatrick with seven saves in the first half. There was a team save credited as well. One goal allowed. Only shot belongs to Amy Bashin, who was on goal. Four shots for Val Lilly, leading the way for Wheaton. And it is Wheaton on the way in the first moments of this second half with a one-goal lead. Maddie Fitzpatrick remains in goal for the Blue Jays here. The freshman out of Downers Grove who prepped at Downers Grove North High School. Both of the Bashans prepped at Downers South. Only goal of the matchup belongs to Laura Karsten finishing off of a corner kick for Wheaton. We're a minute and a half into the second. Remains a 1-0 lead. A whole lot of nothing so far. Valerie Wesley trying to change course against Caitlin Libidor. Wesley twisted away and let out of play. Men's matchup at 7.30 tonight here on Blue Jay TV. Other upcoming broadcasts. We have volleyball for you Tuesday. Boy, is the Elmhurst volleyball team continuing to gain some momentum. Regional rankings released this week. We'll have that for you Tuesday nights, and then a doubleheader of soccer Wednesday evening from over at Barron's Park. So a lot upcoming here on Blue Jay TV. We may have video for you from North Central next week for the Elmhurst North Central football game. We'll definitely have audio for certain. It's looking like we may be able to provide you with some video as well. 42-20 to play. A one-goal lead for Wheaton. Here's an opportunity for Amy Bashan right at Kelsey Graham. The second save for Graham in the matchup. Good chance for Elmhurst, though, early in the second. Have to take your chances in strides and make the most of them against this Wheaton team. Wheaton number four in the country, 14-0-1. Elmhurst 10-3-1. But the Blue Jays are 1-2-1 in the CCIW. Caitlin Kishkunas, a quick turn up towards Sarah Gadera. Who will chip it up. And it's blasted away by Stephanie Berryman. Morgan Geimer tried to feed Amy Bashan, but Karsten denied the opportunity. It'll volleyball around a bit before settling down in midfield. Stephanie Thompson with a long run. Thompson continues to carry as she plays it out towards Wesley. Wesley looking to find a way into the box. And it's driven away by Jamie Orweiler. Orweiler a hat trick last season against Elmhurst. Eight goals, 11 assists this year. Jamie Orweiler changing course. And back around it goes. Elmhurst at least doing a little better job of possessing here early in the second half as well. Perhaps taking a page from Wheaton in that regard, the Thunder did a very good job of holding the ball and making crisp passes back and forth, leading to opportunities. We come up on five minutes into the second half. Orweiler, a four on four. Orweiler around Katie Bashan. Over towards Ali Kopelman. Kopelman into the box. Turning away. Berryman there defensively. Play on according to the referee. Kopelman into the box. The right foot on the way from Kerry Shannon. Well high. And they'll say it was off of Elmhurst. So a corner upcoming for Wheaton. This will be corner number five of the day. And again at 7.30, it's the Elmhurst and Wheaton men here on Blue Jay TV. I'm Tim Calderwood with you on this Saturday evening. 
Caitlin Kishkunis into the box and on the scene is Maddie Fitzpatrick. Well, those corner kicks, you just try to put them up into the box and hope for a head in a lot of cases to come charging in and drive it into the back of the net. Maddie Fitzpatrick denied the chance there. Here's Kerry Shannon chipping up into the box and towards the left edge as the Blue Jays play it away. Ali Kopelman came into charge. And a throw in upcoming for Wheaton. Deep on the Elmhurst side. And it'll roll out along the end line. Maddie Fitzpatrick in her 15th match of the season. Five shutouts to her credit. Goals against average of 0.82. It's been strong in goal again today. A couple of times she's come out to challenge and has left the goal open. One of those opportunities led directly to the first Wheaton goal. On another occasion, the team did an outstanding job of stepping in to record a save with a team wall denying a Wheaton chance. Elmhurst trying to counter. Wheaton keeps finding a way to step in front. And here's Amy Bashan. And out of play it goes. Valerie Wesley chasing far side. Esther Tan on her defensively. Wesley into the box. And just to the right of the goal. Heather DeMoss was in the box initially, feeding Geimer. And a goal kick for Wheaton. With 37 minutes left in this one. One goal advantage for the Thunder. Stepping in front is Shapazian. Serving it up towards Amy Bashan. Valerie Wesley trying to win position. Looking for DeMoss. Geimer into challenge as well. Laura Karsten taking her time. Caitlin Kishkunis. Twisting away. And it's played out. Laura Karsten over to Aaron Strom. Morgan Geimer all over Strom defensively. Off the shin of Shannon Pimmel. Shannon Pimmel doing her best defensively. Into the box, Ali Siebel free and rolling to the feet of Maddie Fitzpatrick. Elmhurst is in the white, moving left to right here in the second half. Weeden in the blue. Strong attempt. From Caitlin Kishkunis, well over the crossbar. Ali Kopelman. Twisting right, and out along the sideline, a throw in for the Thunder. A goal kick upcoming for Fitzpatrick. Just over 10 minutes into this. 
Elmhurst five and two at home overall, four and one here at Langhorst Field. Wheaton a perfect seven and zero oh on the road this season, sitting fourth in the NSCAA coaches poll. Looking down the road, we talked about the big matchups this week. Illinois Wesleyan is at Wheaton on Tuesday. Elmhurst will host Millican on Wednesday. Contest can be seen live here on Blue Jay TV. And the regular season wraps up on the 29th, one week from today. Elmhurst at Augustana. Wheaton will end at Millican. Here's a corner for the Thunder. And never reached the box. Thirty-three twenty-five left. Fitzpatrick with the goal kick. Eased over towards Pimmel. Along the near side, Shapazian with a long ball giving chases Wesley towards the box and out of play. Another throw for the Blue Jays. Wheaton on the move. All the way along the far side. Plenty of space here for Wheaton. Val Lilly. Denied by Shapazian. And out it goes. 32-10 left. Wheaton with a one goal lead. Elmhurst has shown a little more life offensively here in the second half. But still find themselves trailing by a goal. Caitlin Kishkunis. Back towards midfield, Laura Karsten headed the wrong way. Off the chest of Val Lilly. Lilly up the sideline. Aiming right and out of play. Aaron Strom with a throw in. Strom able to keep in down below us. The reach of Kerry Shannon. DeMoss towards Pimmel. Pinballs it off of Kerry Shannon. And the Thunder control. All the way into the box, picked up again by Fitzpatrick. We're coming up on 15 minutes into the second half. It remains a Wheaton one-goal advantage. Morgan Geimer pushing, chipping into the box, and bouncing towards Kelsey Graham. Stephanie Thompson pushing over. Orweiler on the move. Orweiler threading the needle. Orweiler to the box. Pushing left for Kopelman. And some nice defense by the Blue Jays as Heather DeMoss able to interrupt. Bouncing into the box for the waiting Maddie Fitzpatrick. Right Fitzpatrick, Fitzpatrick 
So the Blue Jays with one other home match coming up on Wednesday against Milliken at 5 o'clock. We'll have it for you here on Blue Jay TV. We've got men's soccer action tonight at 7.30. Same two teams, Elmhurst and Wheaton. Likewise on Wednesday from Barron's Park. Orweiler upended and a foul against Elmhurst. Twenty-eight fifty left. Hello, passing freight train. One of my favorite times of the day, Twilight. I know I'm not talking about the movie. With one Taylor Lautner. 28-20 to play. Though I hear the most recent of those is due out in a couple of weeks. one nothing Wheaton with the advantage. Back towards Libidor. Let it roll all the way in towards the box. Kelsey Graham sucks it up and lets it roll out of play. Elmhurst deep in the offensive end. Trying to start something here with Shannon Pimmel. Pimmel with a right foot into the box. Denied by Orweiler. And here comes Orweiler off to the races, just utilizing speed. Jamie Orweiler, the senior, along the near side towards Val Lilly. Lilly off of Siebel and rolling out of play. Orweiler denied. And it's at midfield. Laura Karsten, who owns the only goal so far, with an opportunity. Here comes Valerie Wesley. And again, I'll mention that Elmhurst has done a much better job of controlling possession here in the second half. Still hasn't been able to translate it into a goal in the offensive end. Out of the reach of Orweiler. Along the far side and rolling out of play. And a foul against the Thunder. Free kick for the Blue Jays into the box. Amy Bashan giving chase. Denied by Libidor. Twenty-five twenty to play. Elmhurst trailing by a goal. Here come the Blue Jays again into the box. It's blasted around. Rebound free up and over the crossbar. An initial attempt was denied by the block of Kelsey Graham, and then it came free, and Elmhurst had another opportunity, miss high. Two very strong chances for the Blue Jays. Under 25 minutes to play. Elmhurst had their best opportunity moments ago. We've got a whistle and a foul against the Thunder. 40 yards away, another free kick upcoming for the Blue Jays. On the far 
Allie Siebel, the junior out of Westchester, Ohio. With the free kick. Into the box, headed free. And knocked away. Shapazian able to save the zone. Headed around towards the box. And knocked away. Blue Jays trying to trap it in some more. Shapazian backing up Graham. Twenty-three forty-three to play. Ali Kopelman chasing the punt as a handball called on DeMoss. Free kick from midfield. Hesitation move from Aaron Strom. And bouncing into the box. Once again, Fitzpatrick there. Elmhurst has done a solid job defensively today. Especially here in the second half. Really limiting Wheaton's opportunities. Kopelman attempting to chase down. And Thompson will roll it into the box. As Fitzpatrick hammers it out of play. 22-40. A one goal lead for the Thunder. Here comes the throw in for Wheaton. DeMoss pushes away. And Amy Bashan able to keep in. Leaping is Karsten. Back towards Strom. Thunder almost playing keep away here. And a through ball rolling into the box again. Fitzpatrick has it. I'm Tim Calderwood with you on Blue Jay TV tonight. Kevin Jude will have the call of the men's matchup between Elmhurst and Wheaton. Shannon Pimmel spins free. Amy Bashan on the far side of the field. Head up towards Katie. And a whistle against the Blue Jays. 21-10 to play. Just a one goal lead for Wheaton. A parade of car alarms are going off in the parking lot currently. Outstanding. In no way, shape, and form is that the greatest sound on the earth. Twenty forty left. Katie Bashan tries to work it into the offensive end. Bashan eventually takes away towards Geimer and a one touch pass Wesley. Laura Karsten over towards the near side. Just out of the reach of the charging Sarah Gadera. Possibly the best opportunity for Wheaton here in the second half. We're under 20 minutes left. Ali Kopelman dead on. A little finesser towards Orweiler off of Fitzpatrick's hands. The fingertips of Fitzpatrick. 
they passed other players and now it is clear by the blue team. A great save, yeah, he goes by the discretion, keeping this a one goal game. And it remains Wheaton with the one goal advantage. 19.05 to play. It's at the feet of Orweiler. And the flag is in the air for a foul. It's against Elmhurst. Orweiler will measure up the free kick. She leaps over the top. They play short. Kind of a give and go. Tan looking into the box. Out is Fitzpatrick and on top. Eighteen twenty-three left. Valerie Wesley pressing in. But it is out off of Wesley on the far side, and substitutions will come on. Two for the Blue Jays, one for Wheaton. Grace McKenzie in for Wheaton. Sophomore from New Jersey. Aaron Strom dangerously back into the box. Here's Pimmel. One too many perhaps. Katie Bashin back to Pimmel. Rotating right. Geimer bothered. Lost it. Pimmel again. Leave it for Shapazian. Shapazian changes directions against McKenzie. Airborne. And we have a handball. Sixteen fifty-five to play. Still Wheaton by a goal. Elmhurst has done a much better job challenging offensively here in the second. Have been credited with nine shots in the match. And out along that air side. Off the chest of Andrea Kamak. And it's turned over. Orweiler. Waiting. Orweiler. Stopping. And knocking over to carry Shannon on the far side. Out of play. 16 minutes to play. Substitution for Wheaton. Danny DeLeon, sophomore for the Thunder, appearing in her 14th match of the year. Fifteen thirty-five left. Kamak with a left foot. Seeking Kylie MacArthur. Kamak, airborne with the left foot. Out of the reach of the leaping MacArthur and skipping out of play. Kamak, into the middle. Here comes Shapazian at midfield. He'll serve it up with the right foot. Targeting MacArthur. Knocked away and we're down under 15 minutes to play. Shannon has 
Carry Shannon around her defender. Shannon through into the box. Maybe too much though, but a nice effort on the play from Grace McKenzie. But it is out and a goal kick upcoming for Elmhurst after some more substitutions. For the Blue Jays, Wesley and DeMoss return. Geimer and Pimmel exit. Thirteen forty-five to go. The goal kick from Matty Fitzpatrick. McKenzie pushing out wide. There's Orweiler trying to center for Karsten. Karsten with a left foot, a lot on it. What a save by Fitzpatrick. Reaches up the arms in self-defense and eases it over the crossbar. Thirteen oh five remaining. Into the box and a handball in the box on Wheaton. Quick restart for the Blue Jays. Amy Bashan will give Chase one on three. Bashan on the move, looking for help. Bashan right down Main Street. Continues to carry. Changing directions. Right, left, right, left. Looked for DeMoss, and it's taken away. Stephanie Thompson bringing into the offensive end. And along the far side and through in amongst the Elmhurst College men's team who waits in the corner. For their 7.30 showdown with Wheaton tonight. Twelve oh five remaining. One nil. Wheaton with the advantage. Shapazian towards DeMoss. Amy Bashan from dead on with a left foot. Interrupted by Libador. Kamak steps in. Tries to win it away from Shannon. Here's Katie Bashan into the box. And Elmers has done a much better job here in the second half. As a foul will be called. We have a stoppage of the clock as the referee will call over the Elmhurst player here. I believe that is Stephanie Berryman. And he will have my favorite part of the sport of soccer, the stern lecture. Please, don't you do that again. Okay, sir, thank you. Restart the clock with 11.17 to play. 1-0, Wheaton on top. Esther Tan along the far sideline towards Katie Bashan. Cannot win it there. Down under 11 minutes to play. Throw in for Wheaton. Out of play and a sub for the Blue Jays. Geimer returns along with Pimmel. Ten fifteen left. Out off of Wheaton for an Elmhurst throw. Berryman with the honors for the Blue Jays. Towards the box. Morgan Geimer. Twisting away. Ball 
9.40 to go. Aaron Strom along the near side to Anna Seabolt, leading McKenzie, who was out. And some more subs for Elmhurst. Back on is Amy Bashan and Katie Bashan. Nine oh five left. Just one goal today belonging to Laura Karsten. Aaron Strom ahead towards Anna Seabolt. Seabolt trying to rid herself of Shapazian into the midfield just out of the reach of Orweiler. Here comes Pimmel looking to counter. Ahead to Wesley with some space. Wesley on the move. Reverses her way around Aaron Strom. Targeted to Moss. But it's played away with 8.20 to play. And the Thunder continuing to lead by a goal. Katie Bashan with a right foot in towards the box. Trickling its way to Kelsey Graham. Eight minutes to go. Off the noggin of Amy Bashan. And out of play we go. Throw in for Shapazian towards Katie Bashan with a left foot. Headed on by Amy Bashan into the box. Chasing is DeMoss. And back out again it comes to the Blue Jays, who are doing a very solid job, as I've mentioned repeatedly here in the second half, of controlling. They haven't been able to turn it into a goal, however, with 7.15 remaining, still down a goal. Danny De Leon leads Anna Seabolt all the way into the box, and Maddie Fitzpatrick on the scene. Fitzpatrick with 12 saves in the contest. Amy Bashan outside the box. Bashan into the box. Bashan waiting. Great attempt, but it was deflected away. And here come the Thunder on side. De Leon chases and it's back towards Fitzpatrick who leads with six and a half remaining. Wheaton one, Elmhurst nothing. Early goal for the Thunder has held up. Orweiler. Nice look for De Leon. But good defense by the Blue Jays. Katie Bashan with a right foot. Off the knee of Karsten. Wesley towards Geimer with 5.45 remaining. Airborne. Geimer traps. Shapazian with a right foot. In towards the circle. And here come the Thunder again. Just trying to use some time here, up a goal. Orweiler. And too much. Substitution for Wheaton with five minutes even to play in the matchup. As three subs will jog in for the Thunder. Here's the goal kick for Fitzpatrick. 
With under five minutes to play. Shannon Pimmel turning away. Amy Bashin out of the reach of Pimmel. And a throw for the Thunder with 4.25 to go. And a foul. Referee barely even had any time to blow his whistle before the Blue Jays restarted. Wesley towards the box, thwarted. And upended by Aaron Strom defensively. Under four minutes left. The right foot low to Graham. And a collision in the box. Referee will come make sure everybody's all right there. Hasn't signaled for the clock to stop yet with 3.33 left. Val Lilly out of play. Katie Bash in a quick throw. Lilly there to blast it back to midfield with 3.13 left. Time for Elmhurst to start pressing ahead. Three minutes left. High hopper at the center stripe. Shapazian changing course. Shapazian again. Back from whence it came towards Pimmel. Play on according to the referee as Stephanie Berryman feeds Katie Bashan. Orweiler in to bother. And out of play. Down to 225 remaining. Still wheating up a goal. Into the box. The left foot is in the back of the net to tie the match. Oh my goodness. Amy Bashin, late in the matchup with her ninth goal of the year to tie it. One aside with 2.06 to play. Wheaton still has some time. They've been kind of content to play back a bit defensively, sitting on a one goal advantage. Even at a goal apiece. Well, the momentum's with Elmhurst right now. Slip sliding away. Carson towards Orweiler. Here comes Orweiler on the move. Orweiler through for Carson, rolling into the box, and Fitzpatrick is there. 125 to go. Down to 115. Gadera feeds Kerry Shannon. Copelman chasing is Stephanie Thompson. Takes it away. One minute left in regulation. Turning away is Jamie Orweiler. Orweiler. In the middle, playing catch with Shannon. Shannon surrounded with a right foot, rolling towards Fitzpatrick. Down to 35 seconds. Chipped up in the air. Laid down by Shannon with 22 seconds left. Thunder men's team has arrived. 
7.30 start. The men's matchup. Ali Kopelman with less than 10 seconds remaining. Berryman off to the races, needs to shoot it through, tries with the right foot, and we will head to overtime. Tied at one apiece as Amy Bashin evens the matchup with just over two minutes left in regulation, and we'll have OT coming at you in a bit. This is Blue Jay TV. Elmhurst with just over two minutes left in regulation tied the game. Amy Bashin with a look what I found into the back of the net to even things up at one aside. You know what? The Blue Jays played Illinois Wesleyan to a 2-2 double overtime draw last Saturday. They've hung with the big boys of the CCIW. Ten minutes on the clock, even at one apiece. You know Wheaton's going to come out here strong and try and end this matchup quickly. And again, afterwards, we have men's soccer for you. 7.30, Elmhurst and Wheaton. We'll also have Wednesday's doubleheader over at Barron's Park. Same time as there at 5 and 7.30 as well. That'll be our final broadcast of soccer this fall here on Blue Jay TV. I'm Tim Calderwood with you. Glad to have you alongside. A very eventful matchup so far. Wheaton out shooting Elmhurst 21 to 12. Here's a roller into the box. And Fitzpatrick, really the reason why this contest is tied. On the scene defensively. Fitzpatrick has done a great job for Elmhurst in net. Allowed a goal in the first half. But that's been all. Here's Katie Bastion over towards Wesley. Wesley leaps up, has a go, plays it off of the thunder. Towards the near corner. Taken away by Caitlin Kishkunis. Talk about a change in environment here at Langhorst Field. The crowd has really come to life for both sides, and a good crowd to witness this matchup between Elmhurst and number four, Wheaton. Wheaton 14-0-1 and 4-0 and in the CCIW. Elmhurst 10-3-1. Dangerously, out comes Fitzpatrick. And she will be there first. Kopelman never really was able to get her feet underneath. And a handball off of Orweiler. Clock running with 8.08 to play. Allie Siebel all the way into the box and headed free. Katie Bashan, bothered by Val Lilly, and out of play. Out again. 7.40 to play in the first OT. Elmhurst really turned this matchup around in their ability to hang on to the ball. Possession. Seemed a little anxious in the first half. And Wheaton did a very good job of controlling. In the second half, it was the Blue Jays who settled in and were able to tie the game with just over two minutes to play. Esther Tan. Onside is Seabolt, but it's out of her reach. And Fitzpatrick out of the crease to come and play. Fitzpatrick on the punt. Back towards midfield. Headed around by Kerry Shannon. 6.35 remaining in this 1-1 match in OT. Go, 
Orweiler as a foul is called. Free kick for the Thunder. A good opportunity coming with just over six minutes to play in overtime. Shannon and Kish Kunis address the ball from 35 yards away. Fitzpatrick directing the defense. Here comes the Shannon free kick, and it's good from 35 yards away, splitting the uprights. As we remain even at one apiece. Fitzpatrick with it on the ground again. Five and a half remaining. Headed on by Orweiler. Miss hit off the foot of Thompson. Thunder trying to pressure. Kopelman back towards Kish Kunis. Steering right for Shannon. Aaron Strom with plenty of time. Kish Kunis holding. Taking her time with under five minutes left. Taken away by Wesley, but it'll ride out of play. 4.45 remaining in this first 10 minute extra session. Best opportunity came for the Thunder on a free kick, which was sent over the crossbar. Out of the reach of Wesley. Amy Bashan cycling away out of the reach of DeMoss. Laura Karsten towards Kopelman into the midfield. Orweiler. Orweiler has some help, a trailer on the far side. Orweiler locates the trailer. Val Lilly into the box. Here comes Orweiler on side and diving on top is Fitzpatrick. We remain tied at one apiece with 3.45 to play. Valerie Wesley on towards Morgan Geimer. Katie Bastion at the center stripe. Played free. Thompson. Bothering Kopelman. Fitzpatrick thought about coming out. Now Beck retreats into the box. Val Lilly. Continues to decide which way to go with 3.05 remaining in a foul against Lilly. Free kick for Elmhurst. With three minutes left in our first overtime session. Esther Tan on the offensive end, kept in play. Here come the Blue Jays with 2.25 remaining. Into the box towards Kelsey Graham, who will sling it ahead. Kish Kunis waits, moves right towards Karsten. Through ball, and Fitzpatrick is out of the box to control with two minutes left. On Blue Jay TV tonight, second to last soccer broadcast of the year. Wednesday against Milliken, another double header. We had football against Milliken earlier today here at Langhorst Field. 43-36, Elmhurst with a come from behind victory after trailing 21-6 at the half. 1.33 left in the first overtime. Still a goal apiece. Berryman over towards Amy Bashan. Bashan looking for Geimer. 
And it's driven away by Libidor. With 1.15 to go. Val Lilly transitions. And this one is zonked into the box. One minute left in our first OT. We only played two 10 minute extra sessions, at which point it's considered a draw. Remember, looking at the series between these two schools, Wheaton is 15 and 1 all time against Elmhurst. Thirty seconds left. And a throw in for Wheaton. With time ticking away into the box. And back out to midfield. We appear destined for overtime number two tonight. Aaron Strom will serve it into the box with one last gasp. It's played around to Orweiler with three seconds. Her attempt is blocked. And onward to overtime number two we head. 1-1 one, one on Blue Jay TV. The second overtime comes in a few. Overtime number two, even at a goal apiece. Elmhurst with just over two minutes left in regulation, tied it up at one. What a performance by Maddie Fitzpatrick in goal. Last Saturday night, Elmhurst tied another nationally ranked CCIW foe in Illinois Wesleyan. That was a matchup they felt like they should have won. Had a two to one lead late. Wheaton had so many opportunities early to extend it beyond a goal. But they're only up 1-0 before the Blue Jays tied it with just over two minutes remaining 
on a goal. Here's a cross into the box. That's defended nicely by the Blue Jays. Kopelman has a go with a right foot. It'll twist its way wide of the goal. That is the 25th shot for Wheaton today. 9.15 left. And Elmhurst will try to press ahead as it rolls out. Just to give you an update, the men were supposed to start at 7.30. Once this match reaches its conclusion, they'll put 30 minutes up on the clock. They will have a senior day presentation today for the men as well. Last regular season home matchup is on Wednesday. We'll have it for you here on Blue Jay TV. That's deflected off the hand of Graham. Nobody over to help out for the Blue Jays as Amy Bashan takes a tumble in the box. Carrie Shannon takes it away. Here comes Orweiler with a long run. Stood up by Siebel. Valerie Wesley turning one on two. Wesley trying to play to herself. Libidor there. Here's an attempt into the back of the goal. Oh, my goodness. With 8.16 left in double overtime, Elmhurst knocks off number four Wheaton. The first loss of the year for the Thunder, who were 14-0-1. And the pile-on has begun in the box. Valerie Wesley wins it for the Blue Jays. What a win. We talked about Elmhurst and their CCIW tournament hopes hanging in the balance over the final three matches of the year. Well, they do nothing but help themselves with a 2-1 to one double overtime win over Wheaton. The Blue Jays score with just over two minutes left in regulation to tie it. And Valerie Wesley wins it as Elmhurst improves to 11-3-1 on the year. 2-2-1 two, two in on the CCIW. Handing Wheaton the fourth-ranked Thunder. Loss number one of the year. My goodness, what a finish. And congratulations to the Elmhurst College Blue Jays who celebrate at midfield following the huge upset victory. And don't forget, we will have a men's matchup for you here in a little bit as the hugs continue. Elmhurst and Wheaton on the men's side in a bit. But the story tonight, the Elmhurst women who hand fourth-ranked Wheaton loss number one of the year. Oh, what a finish. That'll wrap up the coverage of our women's action tonight. Don't go anywhere. In about a half an hour, it's the men against Wheaton here on Blue Jay TV. For our entire Elmhurst crew, I'm Tim Calderwood. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs>